Hey people, what's up? CW Gamer here once again, and uh, I'm sorry, but uh, there won't be a Halo today, and uh, it's because I'm still sick, and I don't have the strength to do a full long video with my voice being terrible and me like snotting it up every three seconds. So um, instead, you get a tutorial. Um, this one's gonna be really quick, and it's having to do with uh, exporting and working with. Uh, the Fraps AVIs in Final Cut. Now, uh, if some of you have noticed over the past few days or weeks or whatever, when you try to open up one of the AVIs that you make in Fraps, you get this. Hey people, what's up? CW Gaming here once again in Borderlands. And, uh... So you get a black screen with just the audio playing. And if you try to open that up in Final Cut, you get uh, this beautiful, amazing error message that uh, your codec could not be opened. So, what's the problem here? How can we make it go away? There's got to be a way to fix it, right? It can't just suddenly not work. Well, I'm here to tell you there is a way to fix it. The problem is the plugin Parian, and you can find the plugin by going to your system preferences and just going to the Parian icon down here. This is what lets you play the AVIs and work with them in Final Cut. Now, I have version 1.2.2 installed, which is the latest version, and that's what's breaking it. Um, the new update makes it not work. Uh, don't know what's wrong. They must have broken the codec or something. So, this is what you have to do to revert to the older version to make it work. It's really simple. Just click Remove Parian. That uninstalls it. Then, go to your Preference Pane main window, and click Remove Parian Preference Pane, and then make sure that you empty your trash. Empty? Uh, it could say that, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so that should... I'm just going to make sure... Yeah, there we go. Just close the System Preference Pane, then you can delete it. So that should make it so that we can't view these files at all. If you try to open them up in QuickTime, It'll say you need to install additional software to open this type of file. Okay. So, now how do we get it to work? Let's go to Safari. And this is their website, www.parian.org. And this is their native download. And this is not what we want. We want the older version. So just right-click or control, command-click or, sorry, control-click and copy link. So then just paste it in the URL bar, and then change the URL to 1.2.1, which is the old version, and click return, enter, whatever. And I'll start a download of 1.2.1. Verifying the image, mounting the disk image, and there we go. So now you have the, let's get this out of the way. You have the Parian install pane, and we're just going to install it by simply clicking it. And uh, let's just install for all users. Install password. And there you go. It will then just click install, enter your password again, and you'll have the 1.2.1 version. Also, what you want to do is make sure to uncheck automatically update. And when you check for updates, it'll say there are no updates, even though there is. So now when you open up a file, you will magically have video again. And of course, if you restart Final Cut Pro, you need to restart it or else the uh, codec will not initiate. And you drag in your now working video files. Oh, it's beautiful. Everything is working. True. And and I posted the uh, part four. So you can get right back to video editing and making awesome content. So I hope this tutorial helped you and maybe may solved your issues. And uh, yeah, I'll work on getting better and I'll be posting a Halo as soon as I can. I love you people and have fun.